I was out uh, dumpster diving or curb pirating, and which always is a, no end of embarrassment to my wife, who's a teacher. But I found, you know, sometimes you find good stuff and you fix them up and give them to the people who need it. Um, but I found this computer, and this is uh, really an antique from the stickers on it that have since peeled off. Uh, it's about 20 years old. So let's uh, start at the beginning, and then we'll go look around the back. This is a, just a CD-ROM drive and three and a half inch floppy, some indicator lights. That's a reset button, hard on off. Down here looks like there is, yes, there is a uh, your standard microphone speaker and then a USB, which is a little surprising. Must be like USB 1.0 or, or less. Okay, let's look at the side and then I'll scoot around the back. Okay, so Laser was the name of the company and it's long out of business. Okay, to the back. Okay, back end doesn't really have a, well, it doesn't look much different. Uh, on off switch, uh, 110, 220 selector, plug, um, your standard keyboard and mouse. Oh, there's a serial port. You haven't seen those on a, on a computer for a long time. Those were used for modems and some printers and other devices would attach through serial. Stuff was a real bother to work with. This is a Centronics Parallel. I think you can still find those. That was your printer out port. This is VGA. Eh, Super VGA, maybe, maybe not, can't remember. Uh, somewhere in that time frame. The USB again. And then, of course, the microphone speaker stuff. Down here is another serial. Can't remember what this one is. I'll have to look that one up. Somebody put in an Ethernet card. Okay, that's interesting. They probably planned on uh, networking locally. And then down here we have the telephone and this is your modem. Yeah, so looks like somebody was setting this up to use for their home business or something. Okay, well let's open her up and see what she looks like inside uh, after 20 years. This was uh, sitting out underneath the neighbor's carport for two, three months. Uh, before they moved it out to the curb. Yes, I was keeping my eye on it. And uh, let's see what it looks like. I'm expecting cobwebs, bugs, and everything else, but we'll see. Oh, well, yeah, there's a pleasant surprise. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Wow. I wonder if this thing's ever been run. Let me look at the CPU fan down here. Eh. Yeah, a bit of dust on the CPU fan, but wow, wow, this is, I mean, this is ultra clean and considering it was sitting outside for so long. Okay, well, I'm, let me uh, move on. This is the uh, power supply up here, behind that. Uh, here is the CD-ROM drive. Here is that three and a half inch, and here is the hard disk. Now, hard disks are notorious for stiction. The head will stick on the disc and not move and that happens roughly any any time after 10 years and so this thing's 20 years old most likely um yeah so i'm kind of expecting that not to work but i don't know keep our fingers crossed and maybe we'll uh, bring this thing to life uh first time okay cpu can't tell what kind it is i have to get stick my head in there and look um yeah very basic board uh, this is that serial board, and this is the modem. Nope, sorry, this is the Ethernet. And the serial cables, yes, they just go back to the board. Okay, so uh, correction, this is the Ethernet, and this is the modem. And we have a whole nother spare slot down there. Oh, two spare slots. Okay, so uh, well, I can't really see, but over here we have full fully loaded ram so we got two slots and we got it fully loaded it'll be interesting to pull those out take a look okay so let's uh, zoom in a little bit and uh, see what we can see up close i took out the uh, ram this is a 128 megabyte sticks times two 
and I started taking other stuff apart and I said, you know what, I don't really want to do that. I really, really, really want to see if this thing's going to run after 20 years. And I think that's the interesting part of a computer that's old is can we just plug it in and make it fly? So, um, yeah, the warranty stickers on here show that it was manufactured in 2002. So, yeah, so it is a, exactly a 20 year old computer. Okay, so I'm going to put this stuff back in here. I'm going to put set the cables back in the way they were. And let's just set it up and see if it runs, okay? Okay, here is the moment of truth. We have our monitor set up, the old VGA style monitor, our computer, keyboard, and that's it, okay? In three, two, one. Oh, we got lights. We got fans. I heard the hard disk clicking. Oh, that's not a happy sound. Not a happy sound. Come on, come on. Talk to me. Ah, we're getting a hard disk error. Ah, okay. Well, yeah. Now this is the, the real deal. Okay, so I guess we will bang on it a little bit and see what we can do. Let's uh, see what we can do to make it work. One infinity later. Okay, so after a lot of work, um, we found the problem with the uh, beeping and that was because the memory card, one of the two memory cards was bad. So I just simply pulled it out. That only leaves 128 megabytes in the machine. Yeah, that's 128 megabytes. Um, and yeah, it's, as you can see, it's running right now. I'm uh, erasing the hard disk. So that's the uh, second issue. What I think happened was that the memory card went bad and the company that made this machine, they tried to make it as proprietary as possible. They stuck their stickers all over it. They had stuff in the BIOS. And in fact, when you turn the machine on initially, they actually had the Windows 98 logo in the BIOS. It would come up even when the machine's not operating correctly, the BIOS would come up there. And yeah, so what they were trying to do was have uh, stuff in the BIOS that if you used any configuration other than the ones they were selling, it wouldn't work very well. So my guess is the first thing that happened, the memory burned out and uh, they just gave up. I think the, com the company went out of business and so they were calling and you know nobody's gonna work on this because it's too proprietary. So after sitting for 20 years, we fired it up the hard disk started to load the first time and then it froze and that's that's when the hard disk went bad my guess is that the uh, the hard disk stuck the head stuck on the hard disk and and when they start moving it starts ripping up pieces of the hard disk and it throws it around and it just starts grinding itself up so this is a 32 gigabyte hard disk uh, that's the maximum size that this computer could handle and these are impossible to find. In fact, what I've got in here right now and what I'm erasing right now is a 500 gigabyte hard disk. This machine doesn't like it at all because again, they tried to make it proprietary. They tried to lock everything down. So yeah, um, it kind of, I could kind of get it to work, kind of not. So there's the good news, bad news thing. Uh, the good news is that yeah, the processor is working, all the stuff works. The hard disk is spinning up there. Uh, I actually got DOS on it, but when I tried to do anything else other than DOS, it wouldn't work. Uh, so yeah, everything is fully functional, but the bad news is because it is so proprietary that it, it's just not worth it. I mean, uh, you'd have to go back and try to find all of the equipment that's compatible with what they were selling. So um, yeah, I mean, on the one hand, it's kind of sad to, that this thing's probably going to get tossed away. I mean, the best I can figure out to do with it is maybe use the power supply, stick my uh, uh, Raspberry Pi inside there, which would give it an HDMI out and, and uh, equal number of uh, USB ports, USB two or three, whatever these are, and a good ethernet and all that. <laughs> Probably faster than what's in there right now. But yeah, I don't know. Um, it's just not really worth salvaging other than the look, you know, this 1980s look. 
because it, it wasn't owned by anybody famous. It's not like a one-off. I can guarantee you that like Abraham Lincoln did not write the Gettysburg Address on this computer, I'm sure. Yeah, it just nobody famous owned it. Nothing, nothing special ever happened with it. It wasn't like first issue of a of a, a compact PC or something. It's just there's nothing special. So I'm probably going to salvage what I can out of here. Uh, probably keep the three and a half inch drive. Uh, look back in here, but uh, otherwise I think it's going to get recycled. Yeah, sad news, but you know you can't keep everything. And this is. Probably the reason the company went out of business is because it was just too proprietary. Okay, well that was it for this uh, little es escapade in computer archaeology. I hope you found it useful and interesting in your home DIY computer work.